Yes, girl, it's time to G.O. out the D.O. Put no panties off, yeah. Put no panties off, hell yeah. Put no panties off on the dance floor. Take it off. I ain't got no panties on, ain't got no panties on. I ain't got no panties on on the dance floor. I ain't got no panties on, ain't got no panties on. I ain't got no panties on on the dance floor. Hey everybody, Roger here. I want to talk to you guys today about um, this new uh, protest by the Linux developers, some kernel developers here, uh, that is kind of, sorry, let me close that window, that is kind of uh, a big deal, but I'll tell you why it's necessary and why it's good. Okay, so I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of the whole story. There are a lot of people out there that have covered this topic as far as like what it is, what it's about, who the two sides are, and I'll be bringing up the two sides. But th if you want to get to specifics, go watch uh, um, Computing Forever's channel in regards to this. He just released a video today giving you an outline and details. I want to cover today what side I'm on and, and why. Okay, and, and I'll give you a little overview, just a brief overview. So, um, basically there are two sides here. Um, uh, ba uh, Linux developers and uh, SJW Linux developers, I would say. And um, so basically what, what they want, what these SJWs want to have happen is um, including this new code of conduct that would basically change the scope of meritocracy Basically meaning that in my understanding of how I use the word meritocracy in the IT field um, You know your shit. You're the best at it. We'll get you in there to do the work No exceptions, you know, you, you do your good job. You're there uh, versus versus social justice ism um, What do you call that other thing? Um, affirmative action type uh, Clause that they want to implement. This is the other side. They basically want to put in um, where white people, and they, they specifically state this, Caucasians over-dominate the Linux community. And we want to basically put in this new clause, or this new um, code of conduct uh, for, for minorities, uh, Lesbians, uh, 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 transgenders, etc., etc., etc. So they basically want to implement this into the Linux uh, core, Linux principles, and Linux is basically saying, or some of Linux are basically saying, no. You know, if you do, if this goes forward and you implement this code of conduct, we will rescind our code, we will rescind our contribution, and you will not be able to use it in anything Linux. Now, granted. That is very extreme. That is very drastic. Um, it would it would affect my job my job tremendously, tremendous, tremendously. Um, it would affect me and my livelihood tremendously as well. There's a lot of things that that could <laughs> eventually fall down uh, and fall apart if 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 these res uh, if these developers actually went through with their word. If this code of conduct was implemented and they took down their, um, they removed their contribution, their code contribution. So it's a big deal. It's a big deal. It can affect everyone, uh, everyone in the technical world. You, me, everyone. So now, which side am I on? Which side am I on? Am I with the SJWs who want to implement this code of conduct, which seems kind of harmless to some people, or am I with the developers um, who are supposedly 90 plus percent uh, Caucasian males in a male dominated environment? Who would I pick? Well, I'll tell you who I would pick, and it not, doesn't really fall on a side. I pick meritocracy over anything, code of conduct. What you do in your own bedroom, who you like in your own bedroom, what sexual fantasies you have in your own personal life, whether it's if you want to have, if you want to fantasize about women being submissive, that's your thing. Hey cutie. Oh, you're a man. Sorry. From behind you look hot. That's your thing. But if you can come into the job and you, and you for, for the eight or 10 hours or whatever day you work, uh, however many hours you work a day, if you're able to do what you need to do, go live your fucking life and don't let me interfere with it whatsoever. You be your own man. Just as long as you're not breaking any laws or any anything like that that harm other people, you're golden to me. You're golden to me because because I would have you for those eight to 10 hours or whatever hours a day that you're gonna work for me uh, or vice versa, we work with each other. Um, 
But I don't need this stupid bullshit of inclusion. This is a job. It's a job for the best person around. And you know what? This 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 new uh, uh, code of conduct. You're actually demeaning us as minorities. Me as a minority. I have earned my way right now. I'm not the best at what I do. I'm damn good at what I do. I'm not the best at what I do, but I will fight and try to work as hard as I can to maintain my position and be one of the best that I think I am capable of being at my job right now or any job that I pursue in the future, whatever, or any project or whatever, or group or whatever. So what you're doing is you're basically saying that we need this extra push. We need to we need to get rid of people who, um, we need to get rid, Roger, you know, with you being a minority and a gay man, we need you to have a little bit of more of an opportunity. So we're gonna bump down, we're gonna bump down white people, you know, so so if you have similar qualities to a, similar skills and qualities uh, that a white person normally would have in your position, we're gonna choose you, even if he's just a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and let go of meritocracy. Guess what that leads you down to, people? It leads us, it leads us down in society as having shit, you know, my SHA uh, at my company, um, I got a letter, and I told you guys about this before, I got a letter saying that, long story short, my information was breached uh, in their environment. They contacted me five months later. It's supposed to be two months that you contact people like me who get who have our data breached. My social security number is out there. My, um, you know, I have all these things set now to, to um, uh, keep monitor and whatever, but, this is through negligence. This is from hiring people who don't, oh, this is from hiring for diversity. You, Okay, if you're East Indian and you're the best person for the job, you're gonna get hired. Granted, there's more white people out there, but if you're in a pool, if you're the only East Indian and you have all of these, uh, like eight other applicants that are all white males, whatever, and you just happen to be the best one, you're gonna get hired in my book. I'm not looking at your fucking name. If I can't, if I can't pronounce it over there, I'll learn it. All I see is your skills, your skills. And if your skills are better than everybody else's that have been applying, whether they're white, black, East Indian, Mexican, whatever, I'm gonna get the best person. I don't want any other restrictions outside of that. I don't need to, we, the, the broadness of, of um, diversity, the expansionness of diversity will come. It will come as this world evolves, as it changes, and, 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 and the reason why I think this whole thing, this new code of conduct is racist, sexist, and homophobic, and ethnophobic or whatever, is because, because you're saying that we need that extra, we need the best pushed out of the way for us to succeed. We don't fucking need that shit. And this, this, this uh, transgender person who has implemented this across all avenues, Gab, I'm sorry, not Gab, um, not Gab, I'm sorry, not Gab, um, uh, GitHub, uh, among other places, wants to implement it into the Linux community. Fuck you, fuck you. You are the reason why we're having issues. You are the reason why we're all divisive. It's bullshit, it's bullshit, and I am not for it. Meritocracy is where it's at. You hire the best and brightest for the jobs. You do not hire, you do not hire based uh, off of having these other conditions that need to be met in regards to ethnicity and stuff like that. You hire based off of, off of, off of the, the, the things that you went to school for, the things that you know, or even if you didn't go to school, if you're very damn good at what you do, you're gonna show it in your resume, you're gonna show it with your example work, uh, you're gonna show it in your, in, in your incoming tests when you come and get tested for these positions. You do not need that extra handout. You don't. This is bullshit. I stand by you, Linux, uh, Linux developers. I stand by you, even though it would mean a, 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 it would it would be huge, a huge impact on my field, in my field, in my line of work. You know, I'm a full stack developer, uh, and 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 uh, I do a lot of other things in tech as well. But I mean, primarily, I'm a full stack developer, and and I I understand the impact. But you know what? Principle principle because the eventual thing that's going to be happening here is this if we allow people to slide this bullshit into our work environment we already have stuff like this it's called hr it's called it's called human resources and it's called um uh, different conducts in the workplace that doesn't that don't need these additional uh, uh code of conduct uh, uh, add-ons to them that just that just serve no purpose but to vilify white men 
and it makes no sense. When we start taking color and and uh, ethnicity and gender and preference and stuff like that out of the equation, guess what? It's an evil. It's an even playing field for everyone, and that's the way it always should be. That's how I look at it. When I when I work, I don't look at you based. I don't judge you. I don't judge you if you're a white person. I don't judge you if you're black. I don't judge you if you're you're um, from Korea. I don't judge you if you're if you. Uh, if you're a transgender or whatever, I'll treat you the same. You treat me with respect, I'll treat you with respect. This has nothing to do, uh, uh, and if you wanna get ahead, you don't need this little push. All you need to do is just keep striving to be the best. All this is gonna do is hold people back and saying, oh, I don't really have to give so much. I don't really have to try so hard. All I have to do is just know that if I'm, a, if I'm running against, if I'm competing for this position against white people, I'm gonna have a better chance because I'm a minority. Guess what that does? It helps people in that position probably not do their best. They know they're gonna get in. And what does that lead to? We start having like mediocre people coming in and don't be thinking that I'm saying that it's all minorities that are gonna be bullshitting this. White people, everybody, everybody makes mistakes and they all fuck up. What I'm saying here is this, adding this extra step is gonna cause things to start crumbling. It's gonna cause shit like, like the HSA breach that, that, that happened to me uh, to be more evident. And I know that there was a lot of minorities who developed this 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 uh, this project for the HSA, the, the portal. It's bullshit, it's fucking bullshit, it's bullshit. And uh, we don't need it. We're gonna have things falling apart, crumbling. There's m millions of examples out there uh, in regards to failed projects where people hire based off of diversity instead of merit. Keep it at merit. Let that be the goal evenly across the board for everybody regardless of race, color, creed, national origin, uh, sexual orientation, uh, whether you like to have a butt plug in your ass at work or whatever, I don't give a fuck. You know, what you do in your own time outside of work is your own thing. If you have these habits and somebody's using this history against you, fuck that person. Fuck that person. I don't give a shit what you do. Don't do anything outside the boundaries of the law, outside of work, and you're gonna be fine. If you have stupid ass hobbies like you, you wanna dress up as a furry or something outside of work, and then you come into work and you're a fucking badass coder, more power to you, more power to you. You're living as an American, you're living as an individual, and uh, and, 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 and that's that's the dream. You're, you're, you're you, you're you. And nobody should change that. Nobody should coerce you into following these fucking ass rules and these, these stupid ass code of conducts. So, yeah, I... I I'm with Linux here. I'm gonna stand by them, whether it ruins my career or not. If it goes through, whatever. Anyways, um, it beats, it bests, and beats out the alternative of us giving in over and over and over and over again. Unless we start, this is happening with everything, even with the Kavanaugh case. That stupid lady from Hawaii, the senator—I forget her name—but her telling men to shut up. Fuck you. You're a senator. You were you swore an oath to 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 uh, to to America, to the Constitution, to the people, and 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 uh, and you're telling half of them to shut up. Us men, you're telling us to shut. Up? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. That is not how it works. You are representative of the people. Not the other way around. You can't dictate. And then you come out and say all this bullshit about about Kavanaugh that you want to that because these instances of us, these assumptions are against him because he's him that you think is right to assume and, and, and ridicule him. But if it wasn't him, you you would probably not take these, these accusations seriously. Oh my God, what the fuck is your problem? Eddie? You really need to be uh, removed from your position. And I hope, I hope Hawaii does that somehow, some way I hope they do it. Anyways, what are you guys' thoughts? Uh, do you think it's a bad idea for Linux developers to, do you think it's bad that if the Linux developers, um, decide to rescind their code to 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 remove their property their code is their property from the project entirely um and it and it, and it causes all out chaos it could cause chaos especially security and liability uh chaos uh, catastrophe do you think that it's that that's a good this would serve as a good example so that way these social justice warriors learn their lesson to stop pushing the shit on us look i'm gay i'm a minority and I fucking hate this SJW shit. I even hate using that word. It's so cringy. But um, do you think it's it's a uh, it's it's better to let that happen and reap the consequences uh, in the digital world because of it, or do you think it's a better idea for the social justice social justice warriors and this 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 uh, uh, drag queen or whatever her name is, the one who wrote it up, get her way and let it be implemented into the Linux environment? 
Do you think that way is the way to go? I think that's the wor- that's a bad way to go because then we're saying it's okay and it's gonna keep creeping and creeping and creeping and creeping along. It's gonna keep creeping along and we are gonna have a society where uh, this is gonna be the down, we are gonna be, I'm gonna say, we're gonna be openly racist to white people more so than we are today. It makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. Uh, inclusion is, a, is, is including everybody, including white people. And then from there, you earn your way in life through your own merit, without any boundaries of, uh, or, or shortcuts by eliminating white people or whatever, anybody, limiting any, anybody. That's how I look at life right now. Anyways, what are you guys' thoughts? Uh, definitely, definitely read the articles for this. Uh, go watch uh, uh, Computing Forever's video on it. There's a couple of other great videos about it that talk about it. I didn't go into detail into it, because everybody's covered that to a T already. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys where I stand personally on this. And as somebody who's, I, I think I'm a perfect example of this. As somebody who is, um, where I stand, I'm giving you my example as a, as a minority Hispanic male, minority gay Hispanic male, uh, and somebody who is in the IT field, uh, how this can affect me. My stance is, completely against the SJWs and 110%, 1,000% for the Linux developers who want to rescind their code. I say go for it. All right, you guys, that's all I got for today. Hope you guys all have a great day. Peace out. And don't think about what he said. <laughs>